Honey, for the past 3,721 days of my life, I have dreamt about this day a million times. I was wondering when I could officially call you Mrs. Perez. And in a few moments, my dreams will finally become a reality. God has truly blessed me with not only a beautiful woman, but an amazing friend, lover, <laughs> and a mother to our children. In front of God and all of our loved ones here today, I've got to make these promises to you. I promise to agree with you even when I know you're wrong. I promise to be excited when you want to go shopping. I promise not to dedicate my Sundays to watching football. And I promise to watch more YouTube videos on how to give better massages. I've done that before. Yeah, we know, we know, we know, yeah. <laughs> One, two, woo! <laughs> Celebrate success. But most importantly, I promise to love you and the kids of condition. I pray that God will give me the strength to be everything I'm called to be in a father and a husband. I promise to lead you and guide you as Christ leads me. No matter what trial or obstacles we encounter, I know our love can overcome. I promise to you, I promise to always be here for you to listen, to pray, and to do my best to put that smile back on your face when you're having a bad day. You're my best friend, and I will, and I will continue to love you as we start this new chapter in your life. I am, uh, I'm not gonna let you off the hook. I got one story. It's not, it's just one quick one. Um, we wanted to go to another party, and Mike dropped me off, and I thought he was gonna stay, but he said, he'll pick me up in a little bit, and he's like, call me, call me when you need a ride, and I was like, sure, you know, never, he always answers his phone. Uh, my mom, you know, my parents, I had a curfew back then, I had to be home, you know, when I had to be home, I had to be home, so I started calling Mike, he's not answering, like, no phone, no, no text, no, no nothing, and I was like, okay, I'll give him, I'll give him a few minutes, nothing, like, nothing, all night, nothing, and I'm like, how am I going to get home, I'm going to be doing dishes for a week or something, you know? and you fast forward a year later, it's my 21st birthday, trying to plan something, and, and Mike tells me, Dude, that's my 20th, that's my first anniversary, one year anniversary with Heidi on the 4th of July. I'm like, dude, that's why you went into your phone that night? <laughs> it's my birthday, dude. Come on. <laughs> like, that would all make sense. So, for the last 10 years, their anniversary has been on my birthday, and we haven't really been able to hang out on my birthday. <laughs> So let's raise our glasses. I want to toast to Mike and Heidi, and also I get my birthday back because they have a new anniversary day. Michael, we have grown so much during these 10 years. I've watched you grow from a young man to the most selfless man I know and love today. I love and appreciate everything you do, not only for me, but everything you do for our family. You put everyone above yourself. I love the man you have become. You've set such an amazing example from Malia and Gavin. I love you for always seeing the good in me, even when I didn't see it in myself. I remember a time early on in our relationship when you were struggling deeply with the loss in your family. 
Your mom told me God brought you two together for a reason. Grandpa sent you to Michael to help him. I'll always be here for you. And I promise to always show you love and compassion. I promise to hold you when you need to be held. I promise to always be lovers and friends. And I promise to go to the gym with you even when I really don't want to. <laughs> Just so that we can spend time together. I know that marriage is not easy, but I promise to work at it every day with you. God truly blessed me with a genuine, kind-hearted man when he brought you into my life. And just last night, Leah told me that she wants a husband like her daddy. I love you.